Do you ever feel like all smartphones are kind of just the same? Well, you're not wrong. It is nice though when something new comes to market doing something unique. And that's this guy, the flagship gaming phone from Razer. It's a normal rectangular smartphone, of course, but with a few extra perks. Let's get started. Right out of the box, one of the coolest parts of this phone is the light up LED Razer logo on the back glass. Made up of three snakes, Razer started out years ago making gaming computer mouses. And of course, snakes eat mice. So the Razer logo is made up of cool snakes that eat the boring computer mice that aren't Razer branded. The logo is a bit more dim than I anticipated, but it does change to whatever color you want, which is pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see what the LEDs look like from underneath the glass. Inside the box, there's a nice braided cable and a USB-C dongle for that missing headphone jack. Let's jump into the scratch test. Razer has a few major perks over other smartphones, one being this 5.7 inch 120 Hertz display. 120 Hertz means that the screen refreshes super fast, making it abnormally smooth. The video you're watching right now on your screen is filmed in 60 frames per second, so it's impossible for you to get the full experience of the Razer 2 without actually seeing it in real life with your own eyes. The screen is covered with the industry standard Gorilla Glass 5, meaning it scratches at a level 6 with deeper grooves at a level 7. The Razer phone does have a unique looking build with large front facing speakers on either end of the phone. Tucked up inside the top speaker, we have our front 8 megapixel camera protected by glass and the sensor array in a little black circle next to it, also protected with glass. The large speaker surface area makes sense. Because it's a gaming phone, it'll be held horizontally a lot. And the massive plastic covered speakers give the user something to hold on to that doesn't block the screen. Both the top and the bottom grills are made from plastic. The sides of the phone are made from metal. Standard black anodized aluminum. You can see the silver metal shining through. It's even metal over the expandable SD card slot. The Razer Phone 2 has some unique looking volume buttons though, little circular dollops made from metal. You would think that a beastly, powerful gaming phone might have some more aggressive looking buttons, but if you remember, Razer bought out the old Nextbit Robin startup and took a lot of the same design cues from the cutesy plastic phone named after a tiny bird. Razer didn't bring over the headphone jack though, which is kind of weird. I feel like the gamers of all people would like to use headphones while charging their phone at the same time which you can't do with the Razer phone. Bluetooth sometimes lags, where corded headphones would not. The top and sides are all made from metal, with the power button doubling as a fingerprint scanner. It's very flush with the side surface of the phone, but hypothetically it's good to know if it would still function or not with scratches or damage. Luckily for Razer, even with some substantial slices, the fingerprint scanner functions perfectly every time and has no problem recognizing my thumb. Thumbs up for that. The bottom of the phone contains our single USB-C port and some more metal. Aesthetically, I think the light up logo design on the back of the Razer Phone 2 is pretty awesome. It does seem dim on my very well lit desk, but I imagine it's more stunning in a darker room or while making phone calls or getting notifications at night. The whole logo is underneath the glass, so it'll never get scratched off. Plus, with that back glass panel now, the Razer Phone 2 does have wireless charging. Razer is also doing it right with the dual rear cameras, one normal 12 megapixel lens with OIS, and a secondary telephoto sensor with 2 times optical zoom. I'm a fan of those extra capabilities. The dual tone flash is covered with plastic. As of this video, Razer is making this phone in two colors, black and black. So if you're looking for any diversity in your life or just want to get rid of all those fingerprints, you can always customize your phone with dbrand. With a ton of vibrant colors, including the delicious bulletproof banana, you have the option of leaving the logo showing, which I prefer, or debranding your phone entirely. Either way, I'll leave a link for you in the video description so you can customize your own phone. And huge thanks to Dbrand for sponsoring this video. And now the test you've all been waiting for, the burn test. It's important to know if your new gaming phone can survive a cozy campfire during a Fortnite gaming sesh. With the extreme heat from my lighter, the Razer Phone 2 lasted about 19 seconds. The 1440p LCD display started going black and turned off, but once the heat was removed, the pixels recovered, respawning back to full health. I'll peel off the dbrand skin to keep the bin test fair. It's time to find out if this $800 Razer Phone 2 is durable, or if it snaps in half like its Bluebird predecessor. 
With a substantial bend to the front, there is hardly any flex to Razer's flagship. It's surprisingly even more rigid than last year's first Razer phone, with zero kinks in the metal even when bent from the back. This massive phone is surprisingly solid. The Razer Phone 2 passes my durability test. With its large screen, it's probably one of the most well-built, structurally solid phones I've tested so far this year. I'm a fan. Let me know if you want to see me take it apart to review those LEDs and vapor cooling chamber from the inside, and feel free to customize your own phone with the dbrand link in the video description. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and come hang out with me on Twitter. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.